Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Naruto Shippuden episode 136. Now before we start, the last few episodes guys, amazing, okay? Mostly it was based on flashbacks, but I enjoyed those as well. Itachi is such a complex character, he has a lot to say and I, I utterly enjoy trying to, 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 you know, crack the code here. I'm fully aware that I'm not doing such a good job since they, they really derailed him in, 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 in a fog of mystery here, okay? So I'm enjoying this very much. Also the fighting scenes, like we, we got a bit of, of a fighting scene in the last episodes from, from Itachi and Sasuke, you know? And it was mostly Genjutsu, which was dope because they were like, they were both like Itachi was using crows and Sasuke was using snakes and they just kept appearing you know Sasuke kept piercing Itachi and Itachi just stood there in that amazingly looking chair by the way and you know I really noticed that the spike in animation it really went up so that must mean that we are about to get an epic fight or something because every time that happened in this show we got amazing episodes, okay? So I'm expecting a lot here. The, the, the entire Akatsuki organization seems to be working for Itachi at this point, you know? They're like creating a perimeter for these two to fight it out, to, to duke it out or to resolve the issues or I don't know what's about to happen, but I don't see Sasuke listening to Itachi anytime soon like Itachi is listening to Sasuke at the moment. You know, like Itachi said in one of the previous episodes, okay, I'll listen to what you have to say. It won't be my last, but I'll listen. You know, so that's kind of hmm, telling me a lot. This is, I'm expecting a lot from this fight. So we're going to be jumping right into this, guys. But before we do, if you enjoy my reactions, feel free to share, subscribe, like, leave a comment, ring that bell for notifications, guys. Follow me on Instagram, join my Discord server. And without further ado, let's jump right into this reaction. Let's go. Woo, yeah, that's an animation on point, man. Animation, amazing. Just like in the cave. You have gotten strong. The exact same words as before in the crows yes. as well. Starting with your favorite Genjutsu farce, huh? So what do you want to know? It won't be the last thing, but I'll hear what you have yeah. to say. Yeah. Let me try this again. And she continued to stab him from the back through the chair, if I may add. And then this boy continued the conversation with Sasuke because Sasuke apparently missed all the vital spots. But Itachi didn't even blink. He was like, oh, so you missed all the vital spots? I see. So what do you want to know? Like, you have a sword embedded in you, okay? So that leads me to believe that this might be another Genjutsu and that this is all a farce. Because, okay, this all looks so amazing. I, I am loving this. But the fact that Itachi told him in the last episode that Toby was also responsible for the destruction, like a complete and utter annihilation of their clan. Like, Toby helped him. That guy Madara Uchiha helped him. So there was two Uchihas who slaughtered the clan. And Sasuke just found that out. Okay, and when he heard the name, the realization that he already heard that name before. And remembering that it was from none other than the beast inside Naruto's head. So that whole scene was just man, like the full circle. Everything is kind of falling into place and I am loving this. <sighs> kind of holding a sword. Back when you slaughtered our entire clan, you mentioned the existence of another. The other Uchiha that you didn't kill. Yeah. He must have been a co-conspirator, because even you couldn't have taken down the Leaf Police Force alone. The animation, man. So you figured it it's out. It's so clear. Who is it? Oh, stabbing him. Madara Uchiha. Yeah. With that vision of yours and a chakra more ominous than my own. Never heard of it. Am I supposed to care? Well, you care now. Madara Uchiha. You care now. Yeah, and the stone statue. One of the founders of the Hidden Leaf Village. The man who first awakened the Mangekyo Sharingan. A founder? But Madara should be long dead. Yeah, that's what I said. Are you just playing with me? Ma 
Madara is still alive. Look at this boy! Whether you choose to believe that is entirely up to you. Are you out of your mind? Each of us lives dependent and bound by our individual knowledge and our awareness. All that is what we call reality. What? Each of us live and are bound by our individual knowledge and awareness and we call this reality? Okay, I'm sorry, but Itachi, every time he speaks, he doesn't say much, okay? But when he speaks, it's other amazingness. Like, it's 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 art itself. Like, no wonder Daydana looked at him like a god, man. This, this boy is amazing. Like, every word out of his mouth, I, I just, it takes me five minutes to process. Like, that was deep. That was low-key deep. But the fact... That they said that Toby, that guy Madara Uchiha, is one of the founders of the Leaf Village. Like, aside from the first Hokage, right? Those stone statues resemble them as the founders. And he's still alive, apparently. Like, Itachi's, like, pretty sure he's alive. And I I, I, I get Sasuke. I, I get where he's coming from. Because how? Okay, how? But then again, we do know that our boy Orochimaru... Okay, my boy. Scratch that. Not all of you likes my boy, but... You know, my boy Rochimaru, he, we know he found a way to prolong his life. So maybe this guy Madara found a way as well, since he was OP. And I also love the fact that Sasuke said, not even you could have taken out the entire police force, the entire Uchiha clan, all by yourself. So that was a dope little detail, okay? So he is not that OP. He needed help. And as it turns out, Sasuke was right. However... Both knowledge and awareness are equivocal. One's reality might be another's illusion. We all live inside our own fantasies. This is true. Don't you think that's true? Sasuke? Yeah, I think it's true. Just what are you trying to say? That thinking Madara is dead is merely an arbitrary assumption that you've made. In exactly the same way that you once assumed that I was your kind and gentle older brother. Oh my god. An arbitrary assumption? Like when he said to those guys that accused him of killing that other dude, he said, you made a mistake in thinking I was a patient man. Here he says to Sasuke, it was an arbitrary assumption on your part, just like you assumed I was... A kind older brother to you. Come on, man! I have acted like the older brother you desired for one reason. Because I wanted to discover how powerful Look you at were. the animation though! Yeah, we're we're reliving it all with Sasuke here. What happened that night? I was so young. I thought it was all merely an illusion. I desperately wanted to believe that I was only trapped in a horrible genjutsu. Damn, man. But there was no mistake! I was trapped in reality! Where did My he... eyes are not the same as they once were. My shining gun can see through genjutsu. Huh. You speak with such confidence as you always do. Well, for now, I'm willing to take your word for it. I thought as much, but look at the distance. Like, wasn't the wall right behind him? So, okay. Itachi did tell him, seek me out when your eyes resemble mine. And now Sasuke said, my eyes are not the same as they used to be when I was a kid. My eyes see through Genjutsu. And he delivered this lightning strike right beside Itachi's head. And Itachi's just chilling, man. He's just chilling at this point. You know, spewing out facts. And I love what Sasuke just said here, okay? He wanted desperately uh, for that to be a genjutsu. For him to witness all that murder and everybody he loved die. But no, he quickly realized it was all reality. He was trapped in reality, okay? Even though they're dishing out genjutsu here, well, mostly Itachi is, but... He was trapped in reality. And that's that, that's how you can describe Sasuke's whole life until this point, man. He's trapped in reality, forced to live this life that somebody else took away from him. Like, Itachi took everything he ever loved away from him, okay? And he was forced to live this reality, just like all of us are forced to live ours, okay? 
That's just that's just the truth, man. I love how every time Itachi speaks, he makes me think. He really makes me think. And I love that. So that was I'm done playing along with your parlor. That was all an illusion. And <laughs> she's still chilling. Confidence is fine. But Sasuke, it appears that you still do not possess the same eyes as I That's what I said! That's what I said! That look he gave him, okay? The look he gave him after, you know, Sasuke shouted out, Please, Itachi, please don't do this, big brother. And he, like, kind of apologized, but then he looked at his dad with that eye. And Sasuke saw that. And when, when, when Itachi killed and slaughtered everybody, he looked at Sasuke and said, Come and seek me out, but only when you get that eye. But in order to get that eye, you need to kill your best friend. And Sasuke couldn't go through with that. So he doesn't have that eye. So he cannot beat this boy. That's what I've been saying all along. Okay? It's impossible. One day, when you possess the same eyes, come and face me. So you just couldn't do it. Yeah. You couldn't kill your best friend. And you dared to come here? To face me with such weak resolve? Okay, 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 okay. Something just popped into my head. As he said, so you couldn't do it. You couldn't bring yourself to kill your best friend. And that's what I think as well. Because Sasuke said some lame excuse like, I'm not going to follow in my brother's footsteps. Yeah, I'm sure that took a part of it. But at the same time, you also liked Naruto, man. Like he was your best friend. You said it yourself. Okay, I understand you wanted to sever that bond. But not sever in a way that, that, that the boy is going to be left out dead in the rain. So you couldn't go through with it. Okay, you couldn't go through with it. So... Did Itachi, okay, I, I have to go back to that smirk again. When Itachi went to see Naruto out of the blue, I don't know why he did it, but here, like, it kind of popped into my mind that he might have visited Naruto because he wanted to see why. Why Sasuke couldn't go through with it, you know? He wanted to meet the person that, that his brother, the one that has his genes, and we know that Itachi slaughtered his family, everybody, even even that guy he looked up to that they mentioned in the flashback to attain those eyes. So who was the one who made this boy, Sasuke, his brother, his blood, somebody who has those genes, somebody who has that potential to do the same atrocious thing in order to gain power? I think I'm going to choose to interpret that scene as Itachi wanting, being like curious to meet a guy who got to Sasuke so much that he couldn't go through with it, okay? He couldn't kill Naruto even though he knew that that was a path that he needed to take in order to beat his brother and get the revenge that he deserves, okay? He lived his entire life to get this revenge. And then when he needed to make that difficult decision like Jiraiya did a few episodes back, he couldn't do it. He let Naruto live. And I believe that, that Itachi went to see what kind of guy Naruto is. And when Naruto said... I am more of a brother to Sasuke than you ever were. He smirked. Because I, I believe he understood their bond. Okay? And I love this, man. I love... See? It, it just... This show makes me think, man. Itachi makes me think. So I'm starting to... I under, I'm starting to understand why you love this boy so much, man. Okay? Let's... All right. Then just hurry it up and try to kill me with your Mangekyo Sharingan. Or am I too strong now for you to dare to test your capabilities against mine? He looks arrogant. Such confidence. And Itachi isn't impressed. Zetsu's watching! Neither of them have budged for the longest time. They're filling each other out with their genjutsu. Wait a minute. None of them have budged for a long time? Are you telling me that this all happened in their mind because of the eyes and Zetsu can't even see it? He's only seeing them stand still and look at each other? What kind of a battle? Imagine wanting to watch that battle. And just seeing them stand and look at each other. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, they're just feeling each other out with the eyes. With the eyes. The Manga Kyo Sharingan are very special eyes. That's so cool. The moment they awaken, they progress toward darkness. And the more they're used, the faster they're sealed. What is that? Sealed? The Manga Kyo eventually lose their light. Blindness. So that's the price of obtaining the power to control the Nine Tails, is it? <laughs> so you did as I instructed and read the lithographs in the secret Uchiha meeting place. What? Those eyes? 
that Mangekyo Sharingan that they keep referring to as the OP eyes that Itachi has but Sasuke hasn't unlocked. The repercussions of that, of those eyes, is blindness, essentially. But the upper hand is you're able to control even a tail beast like a nine tails? What the hell? This is so well done. Exactly who and what is Mother? The first man ever to tame the Nine Tails with his eyes. An immortal man who is both my comrade and my mentor. Immortal? And the exceptional man who was the only one to uncover the other secret of the Mangekyo Sharingan. That is Madara Uchiha. Did you say the other secret of the Mangekyo Sharingan? Oh. My. God. I am sorry. There are more secrets to this thing? And did he just call that Madara Uchiha immortal? His partner and his mentor? The person who, who unlocked that thing first? A and discovered the secrets and the other side? The other benefit of this thing? Like... Okay, that guy, they're just hyping that dude, man. They're just hyping him and hyping him, man. I don't even know, like, what to expect from this boy, from that big guy, and from, like, that mother. Oh, man, this is too much, okay? This is, this is freaking too much. But it's still so cool. Look at Itachi with his just... What other visual power does it possess? Can it do more than just tame the Nine Tails? Yes, another secret. Yeah. The most important one of all. Hmm. The most important one? Tell me. Yeah, tell us. What is it? Answer me! I'm sorry. Did I see that right? Did he glared at Sasuke and saw him the way I see people in the distance? Like, barely saw him? Is he starting to lose vision in his eyes? Like, starting to become blind? Interesting. Interesting. Let me tell you a little about the past, particularly the history of the Uchiha. Back then, Madara had a younger sibling, a brother. What? Genjutsu! He's gonna show him! What is going on right now, man? From the time they were children, the two tested and honed their skills by competing with each other. Eventually, they both awakened their Sharingan, and they made names for themselves both inside and outside the Uchiha clan. The two continued to push each other, seeking to sharpen and advance their visual prowess. And then... Okay, then what? So this is Toby? This is Madara? When he was younger? The brothers killed off those most precious to them, and in doing so, finally awakened the Mangekyo Sharingan. Oh my god! So... It had never before been seen among the Uchiha clan. The brothers used their visual prowess to unite the clan, and Madara was named its new leader. However, Madara began suffering strange physical symptoms. As I just told you, this eye is special. The more you use it, the quicker it becomes sealed, with the end result being total darkness. Okay. That is the fate of the Mangekyo Shari. Blindness? In exchange for obtaining incredible visual prowess, that power shuts itself down, cutting off the light forever. In order to try to reclaim the light, Madara tried all the methods he could find, but nothing was effective. Oh. He became lost in despair, and, haunted by the Mangekyo Sharingan, desperately seeking the light. His brother? Forgive me. No way! I think I see where this is going! Hey, 
And he's stealing the Genjutsu seeing all of this! He stole both eyes from his younger brother. What? And so, Madara obtained new light. And after that, never again did the light fade from his eyes. An eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. He has four now! It is said that by finding a new host, his younger brother's eyes obtained eternal light. And another change emerged. A distinctly new, unique visual jutsu was born from those eyes. However, this exchange can only take place between clan members. And not everyone attains new powers from this method either. These truths were only gradually discovered over time, after countless sacrifices. That is the other secret of the Mangekyo Sharingan. I am sorry, but this is a lot to take in, okay? Because as he is saying this, the scene before this was him looking at Sasuke through a, like a broken lens, man. Like when I see people in the distance, okay? Like somebody who has problems with their eyes so his vision must be deteriorating as we speak and now he's explaining something this guy Madara Uchiha Toby like he discovered this a long time ago as it seems so eventually as you use these eyes they beginning to fade and seal themselves which ends up in blindness okay and it looked like it hurt so what he did out of desperation was actually steal the eyes of his brother and here Itachi made all of this possible because he's planning to steal Sasuke's eyes, okay? That's where they're going with this. That's why he wanted Sasuke to obtain those eyes. That's why he left them alive. That's why this everything happened. Because way back when he slaughtered the clan, we know that he already knew Madara. He was his partner. He helped him do it. So... Even back then, he already knew his destiny when he obtained those eyes that eventually, from overusing them, he is gonna become blind. Oh my god, and that scene when they were running away from, from, from Jiraiya, him and Kisame, Kisame told him, you need to watch and not overuse those eyes of yours, okay? You need to rest. So maybe Kisame is in on this too as well. Like, looks like the entire Akatsuki knows this secret now because... Yeah, Toby told them, like, Madara, he is the leader after all. Or maybe, like, you guys, some of you guys told me that not everybody knows uh, who Toby is. And we also saw as they were, like, exchanging words while they were holograms. Yeah, not everybody knew who he is. So maybe a certain few know who Madara is, I mean, Toby. And they. that's why, like, Madara is... As we speak, he's holding off the leaf so Itachi can fight Sasuke one-on-one -on -one and beat him. Maybe they're trying to get nobody to interfere because Itachi's not at his full strength because his eyes are deteriorating as we speak. And one of you guys said something very interesting, okay? They told me that I missed something in the ending of the episode 125. So I rewatched this episode uh, two days ago and honestly... I think I get it because Toby, aka Madara, was having a conversation with Pain and that girl Conan, and he said, I think he finally made up his mind or, you know, made a decision because he doesn't have much time left. And I didn't think twice about it then. But here, was he talking about Itachi here? Because I think, I think, based on what they're showing us here, that his eyes, he doesn't have much time left, okay? He needs to take Sasuke's eyes. But the problem here is Sasuke hasn't obtained those eyes because he couldn't go through with it. He couldn't kill Naruto. So when he made that decision not to kill his best friend, he inadvertently saved himself maybe because like these eyes are not good enough for, for, for Itachi, right? If I'm getting this right. Okay, that's, that's just my theory. Tell me in the comments if I'm close, but this... Damn, this, this is so complex. Every character, every new character that... <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. Madara used his newfound powers to take control of one ninja clan after another. Ultimately, he formed an alliance with the most powerful clan, the Senju clan of the forest, 
and established a new organization. Was that the first Hokage? Later, because the armor clashed with the leader of the Senju clan, a future first Hokage, over the course the village would take. He may have lost the battle over leadership, but Madara still lives on with his visual prowess intact. He's been hiding himself among the shadows, creating a new organization, the Akatsuki. Sixteen years ago, when the Ninetales attacked the Hidden Leaf Village, it was Madara's doing. But like Madara's bid for power, the fourth Hokage stopped that. <laughs> In short. Madara is a bitter defeated loser now. He's not worthy or capable of grasping Uchiha's true greatness. I am the one. I shall surpass Madara and achieve real greatness. And now, I can finally obtain power that exceeds Madara's. Sasuke, you are the one who will become my new life. I knew it. I knew where they were going with this, okay? I knew he was gonna go for his eyes and did you see how unstable this boy got? Sasuke, you are gonna be my new light. Get over here. Like, oh my god. And the way they said it, like, I believe they said that Senju, Senju, Sen, Senju clan? Like, I believe he said that the first Hokage was the leader of that clan and him and Madara formed an alliance, but eventually they duked it out for the leadership position and Madara lost. So he is not unbeatable, but as he said it himself, he still lives on. And we know that the first died. So he must have developed some jutsu that, that prolonged his life like Orochimaru, you know. And, and, and he still lives on. And 16 years ago, when this whole story started, okay, in the first episode, we saw that demon fox rampaging. And they said that those eyes can control the nine tails. So he just literally said that that was Madara. Okay, that that was not... Okay, and Jiraiya saying... You, you remember the speech when he said that he doesn't think that it was a natural occurrence. You know, the, the nine tails appearing. So he, they literally confirmed it here that it wasn't. It was Madara. It was planned. Oh my god. But the fourth Hokage stopped him again. So two people managed... To beat this Madara guy, okay, this gives me hope, man. This gives me hope for the good side. That's so OP, man. Okay, so the first Hokage and the fourth Hokage were so strong. They both defeated Madara. Okay, okay. So this guy is not all powerful like I was led to believe. But, and even Itachi here is like, I'm going to be the one who's going to surpass that defeated bitter loser. He didn't show him much respect here, you know, even though he did call him his sensei, essentially, so... Damn! You have my spare eyes! Ooh, like before, the, the two empty spots, because Madara had four eyes after he stole them. Activating the Mangekyo Sharingan always required an Uchiha to take down a friend. Parents and siblings killed each other to obtain eternal visual prowess. We're both from a tainted bloodline that's advanced its strength this way throughout the ages. And from the day you were born into our clan, you have been unavoidably entwined with this blood-soaked fate. Now come, my little brother! Oh my god, he's a- I shall kill you to obtain my true transformation, and finally be freed from our clan's fate! I shall break loose from all the restrictions, and free myself from all the constraints that bind me! But with us, it's different. Because you and I are flesh and blood, I'm always going to be there for This you. was... Even if it's only as an obstacle for you to overcome. This was all an act? We are each other's spares! Now I've made you hate me. Now you have the desire to defeat me. Which is exactly why I'm going to allow you He to did me. all of this! Everything I've done so... is for me, for my benefit. So that was true, everything he did so far was he... Was, was for his own benefit so Sasuke could live. Hate him and doing so, untain those eyes, kill his best friend and come to Itachi so he could take the eyes. So wait a minute, does this mean that it doesn't matter that Sasuke didn't unlock the Mangekyu Sharingan? He can still take his eyes and, and, and gain the, the eternal Mangekyu or what he called it? 
This is the true bond between the brothers of the Uchiha! Oh my god! Wait, was this all in their minds? to see my inner self it was all just for this he was my name is Sasuke Uchiha from the very beginning I hate a lot of things and I don't particularly like anything what I have is not a dream because I will make it a reality, reality man I'm going to restore my clan and destroy a certain he told us from the very beginning what he was planning to do man and what Itachi said, it seems you were able to see my inner self, his true self, the self he has been hiding from this boy this entire time, his entire life. And he finally got an answer why Itachi did all of that. Man, to taint those eyes and he let him go, he spared him because essentially he is his spare, like the spare eyes. Oh my god. I finally arrived. The moment to achieve my goal is here at last. They're both so cool, you man. that you see me dead at your feet. But you cannot possibly win against me and my Mangekyo Sharingan. Unfortunately, your goal will end as mere fantasy and vanish like a dream upon waking. Because you do not possess my visual prowess. Yeah, but you're beginning to become blind, so... That might give Sasuke an advantage. Okay, I'm starting to think that Sasuke might actually have a chance here. You're still too weak. You don't have enough hate. And you know something. You never, you never will. will. Yeah, man, I remember this. They showed it so many times. And Sasuke's getting ready here, like taking off all his bandages. How much you use those eyes of you. I'll use my hatred to turn fantasy into reality. Ooh, that's a dope shot. Turn fantasy into reality. Because he, he said he wanted to escape the reality he's trapped in. Okay, so he wants to turn fantasy into reality. And what he was desperately hoping was true. Fantasy, make it possible. Reality, amazing. Okay, and I'm I'm loving the fact that they're getting ready to like battle, but Sasuke is doing it in such a calm manner and, and you know just like Rock Lee against Gara, you know, taking off the bandages, getting ready. Oh man. And your reality is death. <sighs> He's ready. They're both ready. We're getting this. We're getting this! Are you guys ready? Because I'm not! The hell? The shuriken shutting gun battle, man! They see everything! Look at the spark! They didn't miss a single one! Now this is the power of Uchiha, man! Oh my god, man, I, I don't know what to say! Wait, Genjutsu again? Even during all that, he was able to weave signs for a Shadow Clone. Oh, that was Shadow Clone, it's not a Genjutsu this time! So he's holding Sasuke's arms while... Oh, here comes the curse mark! The wind? The snake! That's right, our boy devoured my boy, man! So he has Orochimaru's powers! Man! Inadvertently, Sasuke is taking revenge for Orochimaru and himself! He blocked it with just a kunai knife? 
And she's using lightning to slice! Yeah, she's slicing! Ooh. Through it. Close! Okay, okay, this is just... <laughs> Genjutsu! Oh, that was a clean hit. Ooh, he just... And he's holding his hand! It's already over? This boy's too much, man. His eyes are stronger. He's going for his eyes. He's going for his eyes. Forgive me, Sasuke. No <laughs> way, he's gonna steal his eyes. What kind of plot twist is this? Oh, he's gonna take out his own. My reality. Give me your light. <laughs> no way! No way! That's it! No freaking way! This is where we're going with this. He's he's taking Sasuke's eyes. Sasuke's gonna be. He, did you see the way they? Animated that was so clean and he took his entire eyeball out man he's just mm, oh, that that made me shiver throughout my entire body oh my god poor Sasuke he's one eye short and it seems as though he is not he's nowhere near this guy man Itachi's level is like right here did you see how like the shuriken battle was insane okay we just have to Take a minute and, and appreciate what they what they showed us here, man. The Sharingan battle, they didn't miss a single shuriken, okay? And the sparks, like, lighting the place up. And then they, like, Sasuke attacked with the blade, he blocked him. And then, while doing all of that, he, like Sasuke himself said, waved the signs to create a shadow clone that was gonna attack Sasuke from above. While his shadow clone was... Or his real self was holding Sasuke pins. But what did Sasuke do? He used Orochimaru's power, man, and, and, and his white snake inhaled Sasuke and protected him. But then that smooth kick came and just. Man, Itachi was too quick. He appeared right in front of Sasuke, took his arm and punched him in the gut and said, Forgive me, Sasuke, but this is my reality. And just. Man, the eyeball is freaking me out, okay? They animated that so well, like his eye popping out. And Sasuke screaming in anguish. He took his eyeball out, man. No way. No way we're going with this. I was not expecting that. Okay, tell me, tell me, at least tell me, was I right about 125, the episode where, where they revealed that Sobi's mother, uh, mother was talking to Pain and he said he's, he, he, he made his decision, he's almost out of time. So, were they talking about Itachi here? Okay, because, you know, his eyesight is deteriorating and here we see he's, he took Sasuke's eye. So I'm assuming that's what they were talking about. So I'm sorry, I missed it, okay? I didn't have enough information to pay attention to it. But one of you guys mentioned it, so I went back because I like to be thorough. And yeah, this makes sense. So tell me in the comments, guys, this is insane. The hype is real. I'm about to jump in and watch another one, okay? It seems like we we're, we're, we jumped straight into this battle. I, this is insane, okay? This is insanity. So guys, this is all for today, guys. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.